cut out for medical assistance. We just finished a session where we talked about doing good, reaching out to your neighbor, showing kindness, showing kindness, regardless of who you are, what your religion is. Be a human being is the ability for you to reach out to somebody else and help. Miss Gloria Tochi Mbonu is 29 years old, a 29-year-old female, who's been diagnosed with end-stage renal it's called that end stage renal disease. She's been undergoing dialysis. hemodialysis for for the past six months plus since January twenty fifteen. And she needs to have an operation. She needs to have a, to kidney, have a transplant. kidney transplant. Um, but she can't afford it. So she's here this morning. She's here today with us to ask for your assistance. So she's supported in the studio by her mother. Her mother is here? Yes, Mrs. Yes. Um, Patience Mbono. Thank you for coming. Thank you for coming this morning. Thank you. Yeah, let's start with uh, Gloria. How did this start for you? It started in December. My mom sent me to the bank to withdraw some money. And all of a sudden, when I went there, I, I, I fainted. I don't know what happened. So when I woke up, right in the bank, I can't remember anybody. I was looking dumbfounded until they had to use my phone to call a friend to come and pick me up. I went home. My mom was asking me that what happened. I told my mom exactly that this is what happened, that I'm fine. Although I had malaria, but you know, I took all these roadside drugs. So maybe that's what affected me. So when I spoke to my mom that I'm fine, I went to my room and that was the end. I heard that I had convulsion. I woke up after three days at the hospital. I can't remember anything. So after the third, I noticed that I was, I was on drip. After the third drip, the blood was clotting. And my mom had to complain to the doctor that the blood is clotting, that it's not right. And that of, all of a sudden, I noticed I started swelling up. And that was the end. That was the, the, the beginning of this. Um, before you fainted in the at the bank, did you have any kind of symptoms or things that could tell you that you may not be feeling well? I was not having this. I was feeling, because my mom noticed that I was okay. That was why she sent me to the bank. If I wasn't okay, she wouldn't have sent me. I was okay. I went to the bank. I, I walked by myself all alone to the bank. And I came. I went to the bank and that was it. That was how I started. Mrs. Mbono, how has this been for you? It's a very painful, painful day. After spending all I have, though, after then, before I noticed that uh, she's having a kidney problem, we went to military hospital to run the test. After leaving that private hospital, because then, the doctors are on strike. So that's why they give us paper to go to clinics, health care. So since then, I've been spending, spending. How much does the dialysis session cost? Dialysis costs, um, the first time we went there to incite all the everything, we spent almost 70000 for the first time. Then keep on dialysis we spend for the regist registration of the dialysis is one um, twenty seven thousand one hundred then we have other draw uh, injections they call it epress or a progen i buy it every two two day three three days we are that buying six thousand that's six thousand then and then she will have like how many sessions of dialysis in a week or two, two times two in times. a week Monday and Friday. So you're spending like 70000 every week? Every week. So when I 
run out of loss. I don't even have anything because I'm a widow. So I have to go to, um, I close my shop because nothing there, I was selling frozen food. So I went to someone, a friend, call us to uh, Inspiration FM. I went there. So that's where I have little money to start running it since then. Up till now, even they changed this one. Yes, because they used to put fix it here. They now change it here. Ninety thousand. They change it. That's how we start running the everything from that uh, clinics. We we'll go to loot from loot. We we'll go to clinics. That's how they going since then. Mm -hmm. Every week. And so far, she's had more than twenty sessions of that. More than. So what, what really do you need now? What has the doctor said? The doctor said that precisely I need a kidney transplant. And that should be as that should be anywhere I want to do it, either India or anywhere. Well, I don't have that money. How much will that cost? Ten million. Ten million. For the 